Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Obadiah chapter 1 where Obadiah wrote about his vision of the destruction of Edom and his vision of the day of the Lord. Obadiah wrote about Edom's destruction. He said the Lord showed him a vision and explained to him why Edom was going to soon be destroyed. God laid out his judgment on the land of Edom. He accused Edom of the following. It was violent toward his brother Jacob. It stood aloof when strangers carried off Israel's wealth and cast lots for the land. It gloated over Jacob's misfortune. It rejoiced over Israel's destruction. Not only did Edom not help Israel when it needed help, Edom went and looted the country after it was destroyed. Edom waited on the road and took refugees from Israel captive and enslaved them. So God pronounced judgment. Obadiah said Edom was doomed and would soon be destroyed. Obadiah wrote down some strange things God showed him. God told Obadiah to write to Edom, Your arrogance deceived you. Some of you live in fortified bunkers. Some of you make your home among the stars in heaven. But I will bring you down and I will destroy you and I will not leave anything left. Very strange indeed. Was God referring to a future time where the Edomite people made their homes in underground bunkers and homes that floated above the earth? Obadiah wrote down numerous ways Edom would be destroyed from a nation ransacking the country to treachery and spying and how countries at peace with Edom would deceive them and overpower them. So Obadiah spoke about the country of Edom being destroyed at some point in the future. And then as is common with Old Testament prophets, Obadiah moved into speaking about his vision of the day of the Lord. Obadiah explained that this day draws near on all the nations and that all nations must repent and turn back to the Lord. Obadiah wrote that God gave warnings to all the nations and said that everything that they have done in wickedness, it would be returned back on them. They would drink and drink of God's wrath during the day of the Lord, and God would devastate the nations. Many will look as if they had never even existed because the destruction would be so complete. But God said His people would be safe and on Mount Zion, his people would live in holiness. Jacob would take over all the country's possessions and would be a fire that couldn't be quenched. The house of Joseph would be a flame burning hot. And Egypt and Edom would be a wasteland. God's people would rule the land with God and the kingdom would be the Lord's. The most important verse in this chapter is Obadiah 1.18, which states, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that God continues to speak about the coming day of the Lord. He wants everyone, everywhere, to repent before that day befalls the world. God wants us to know that His word will never be broken. If He promises something, it is as good as done. And He has promised many things in the Bible. God wants us to read it so that we can know the future. The great and terrible day of the Lord is on its way. Why don't you run to Jesus to escape God's wrath? Don't reject the Lord's extremely generous gift of salvation. Surrender your soul and repent for your sin. Turn your back on this wicked, doomed world. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead and validated everything he said. The Lord promised that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Put your trust in him today. Thanks for watching the Obadiah chapter one episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you wanna keep up with these daily videos. See you next time.